History is the science of the discovery, collection, organization, and presentation of information on past events. History is important because you cannot understand the present without knowing how we got where we are now. That is why those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. The further back in time an event occurred, the more information gets lost. Also, the further back in time an event occurred, the harder it is to know the credibility of the available information. As a result, some means is needed to test the credibility of available information and to fill in the gaps. As a result, the philosophical assumptions of a given historian play a major role in testing the credibility of information and filling in the gap. As a result, philosophical assumptions play a major role in studying history. An example of this is an historian who holds to the philosophical assumptions of absolute naturalism. Such an historian would automatically discount any historical reference to a supernatural event. As a result, such an historian would automatically dismiss much of the biblical account, regardless of any other supporting evidence. A legend is a traditional but unverified story of the past that may be an exaggerated version of a real event. Defining the term myth is a lot harder, and it is often defined based on what one wishes to include and exclude. In popular usage, it is an untrue claim, which only makes it harder to define. In practical historical usage, myths and legends are accounts of the past that a given historian wishes to discount. However, many of these stories may be idolized and culturalized versions of real events. This is most likely the case when there are multiple versions of the same story in different cultures, particularly when the cultures had little or no contact. An official history is the history promoted by the government and academic establishment. It is often protected against criticism by any number of means, including government control of archaeological sites and artifacts. Sometimes official history is true history. At other times, official history is nothing but government propaganda. A classic example of this was found in Nazi Germany. An alternative history is any theory of history that challenges an official history in some way. Sometimes the basis of an alternative history are legitimate. However, at other times, the basis of an alternative history are totally bogus. Regardless of the accuracy, most alternative histories are honest efforts to correct historical errors. They sometimes result from philosophical as well as factual issues. Revisionist history is any effort to change history for political gain. Unlike alternative historians, history revisionists are not interested in the truth, but in creating a particular attitude in people for political gain. In conclusion, history is important because it tells us from why the present is the way it is. However, the influence of philosophy increases with the amount of time since the event in question occurred. As a result, the study and presentation of history is often affected by philosophic and political matters.